Oh. Didn't see you there. Huh? You like my toilet? Yeah, I know. It was custom made. So you like my sink also? I know. It was custom made also. So you want to know how to make it, huh? Okay, then let's do this. The materials you'll need for the toilet are a bottle cap, preferably blue or white, a cotton swab with the ends cut off, scissors, a hot glue gun, and some white foam sheet. A pencil is optional. First, take your cap and make a print in the foam. Take the cap off. If you're using a pencil, draw a circle almost touching your first circle. Then, draw another circle thinly bordering your first circle. Use your scissors to cut out both circles. It should look something like this, but if you can still see your pencil marks, just flip it over. Heat up your hot glue gun. If you do not know how to use a hot glue gun properly, ask a trusted adult for help or a trusted adult for supervision. While waiting for your hot glue gun to heat up, you could use your scissors to trim the edges to make the toilet seat more realistic. If you'd like, you can make another print with your bottle cap and cut it out just the way it is for the bottom of the toilet. Once your glue gun is ready, glue your toilet seat evenly on to your bottle cap. Now you can push your second circle inside the toilet or the bottom. And I, uh, you're actually supposed to do this before you glue the toilet seat on, but I kind of forgot, so I'm going to do it now. Your toilet should be looking like this. Like a top hat. Oh, you know what? It can't be a top hat. Mm -hmm. Looks like a top hat. Five, six, seven, eight. Ba da da da. -da. Ba -da, da da da. Now take your phone and measure out how tall you want the back of your toilet to be. Remember that you should be measuring from the bottom of your toilet all the way up to the desired height of your toilet. I'm using my first toilet as a little example. Make your toilet uh, back the width of your bottle cap. So about there. Cut it out. Trim the back of your toilet seat off where you will be gluing the back of your toilet. Now glue the back of your toilet to the back of your toilet. According to the scale of your toilet, which means if like uh, the back seems like too small for like, I don't know, the toilet seat, you may want to trim down one of your parts. Now snip a small piece of your cotton swab that will be used as the flush. Now, using some nail clippers, snip off a small piece of your cotton swab, which will be used as the flush on the toilet. Glue the flush to the side of your toilet. And that's all for how to make an LPS toilet. To make an LPS sink, you will need 
a bottle cap, preferably white or blue, four white beads, a red and blue bead, one of each, a cotton swap with the ends cut off, a hot glue gun, and some nail clippers. Don't worry, I learn from my mistakes. First, take your hot glue gun and glue a little bit onto the bottom of your cap. And stick your four white beads on. Take your nail clippers in your cotton swab and cut two pieces. One smaller than the other. Glue them together to form a right angle. Set it aside to let it dry. Then take your red and blue bead and your sink. Usually sinks have the hot side on the left side and the cool side on the right side, but obviously I wasn't thinking about that when I made this one. So uh, for this one, I'm just gonna do the same thing. But for yours, I recommend that you switch them so they're more realistic. Now, hot glue them on. Now glue on your faucet. And that's your LPS sink. Okay, so now that we got all this stuff down, I want to tell you how you can make a mirror for your sink if this is going to be in a school bathroom. First, find some reflective material. It could be anything from tin foil or metallic scrapbooking paper, real mirror if you're willing to do that, or this stuff, which I'm not exactly sure, so don't ask me. Well, okay, maybe you could ask me and I, I'll tell you when I remember, but they like use it for astronaut blankets so they don't get cold. It's really cool stuff, so yeah. Well, cut a rectangle out depending on the size of your bottle cap so it's not like too large. So mine's gonna be about this big. Cut it out and glue it to a piece of white foam or some cardboard. So there you have it. Uh, this can also be a great, just a great mirror for like a room. And when you are attaching it for your bathroom, you could either glue it to the back or glue it to the wall. So yeah. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you did like it and you thought it was helpful, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for even more cool DIYs and give me a positive comment. So once again, thanks for watching and bye.